Hey there, people of the interwebs. I am having live challenges today. I'm freezing and all kinds of weird stuff. So I'm gonna try again. If you're on the replay, say hello. Let me know what it is that you're wanting to manifest next in your life, what you see yourself creating. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how you can be trying to do that backwards. Of course, you probably aren't. But sometimes we people get stuck in this story of you have to have the thing before you feel like you have the thing. Um, like, oh, I don't know, can you see me? This sun is weird. Okay. I think I'm shifting in and out of being here, so. Whoa, <laughs> this phone is doing weird. So backwards manifesting is kind of backwards manifesting, is trying to get what you want without being the person who has it. And while we almost always have to take inspired action to get what we want, we also have to first like get into alignment with what we want. And basically that's just living the energy of it, feeling like we have it now. Um, and I understand like sometimes you're like, but I don't have it. And that's why some people have a hard time creating what they let, want because they're always talking about and they're always living in the vibration of what they don't have. I want it, I want it, I want it. Well, if you had it, would you want it? No, you would have it, right? There's a very, very different energy between wanting to have something, you don't have to want it because it's already yours. So <laughs> that is the trick with manifesting, with have what you want. So amazing relationship, that can be. So when you name that energy and then you just claim it and decide it and step into it. People, um, one of my favorite people who taught it to me was Jeanette Ma. Um, the Good Vibe Coach, you should check her out if you haven't, but basically it's just you step into that energy of being that person that you want to be right now. Um, so if that energy is the chick with an amazing relationship, then you step into that energy, um, you call it forth, and then you walk through your day and your life as that person who already has it. Um, Side note, if you are looking to create a relationship, one of the things that I did before I met my husband was I pretended that I was already in a relationship, um, that he just had to go away on a work journey to me. So I was already like in that, that um, energy every day of, you know, here he's, he's here, he's part of my life, but I can't see him right now. Um, and that's a good way to play with this, stepping into this energy. But one of the main things is really just a decision. Um, deciding that you are going to be the person that has that and live from that energy. And a lot of us are really good at doing that um, one time. And then we do that, or even more than that. But we do it and we go, okay, so I'm in this energy. Where's my stuff? It takes a little really, create that energy as as an ongoing default all throughout the day before you go to bed you are constantly just reminding yourself to step into your energy and do what that next thing that you're going to do be it um, brush your hair brush your teeth buy an out relationship order for lunch at the restaurant how does she walk through the neighborhood how does she carry herself what does she wear you answer those questions for yourself um, divinely <laughs> intuitively you do it right you do what you're inspired to do so there's there's just like always two steps right so decide and step into the energy and then act on the intuition and I mean like I broke that down into two steps that could be many many right because you might get a lot of intuitive hits as you go through your days this is what I need to do to claim this energy this is how I would act if I already had what I wanted um, and so that's it's it's simple but it's obviously not always easy because our mind defaults and we want to go back and look at reality and look what we don't have um so i have a group 
that is called the Gold Life Lab, where we are doing experiments in this. And so one of the things that I help the members do and we help each other do is we step, we choose the energy that we're going to step into that month and we name it and we claim it and we do metaphysical action around that, which is really just methods to step into the energy of being who we want to be. And then we also take physical actions around it. Um, because if you're just taking physical actions without lining up um, your vibration, without getting into alignment with what you want, it's a whole lot harder. And sometimes you take a lot more actions, they're not necessarily the right actions. So while you do almost always need to take action, um, it's so much easier to take action from that aligned space of I have decided this, I have claimed it, I have it, I'm the person who has it. I have stepped into that energy. Now, what should I do? And then you're going to get like an answer if you take a few minutes to listen or journal or meditate, take those metaphysical actions to get lined up. You're going to get an intuitive hit of what's the next thing that you need to do. And you do that. And sometimes it's really big time scary, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. Like sometimes you have to go up and talk to that guy that you wanna be in an amazing relationship with, right? Like sometimes he walks across and you have to talk to him. Or sometimes you have to go to a party because you got the intuitive hit that you needed to be there even though you don't wanna go. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry it is what it is. Sometimes life is scary but all the good stuff happens outside of our comfort zone and law of attraction doesn't change that <laughs> it is what it is um we have to line up our energy and then when we do it and we get that hit that tells us to take action we have to take action but if we just sit there and say once i get what i want i will have the energy of having it it's really hard to create something new from that place because you're going to keep taking the same actions and keep being in the same energy of that. So if you want some help along those lines, please come check out the Gold Life Lab. There are some fabulous, I'm not going to lie, it's mostly ladies and I mostly like working with ladies, but some wonderful men are there too. Um, but I will put a link in the uh, comments here when I get done and I apologize that I've been having a lot of um, glitchiness here um, as far as going in and out on the recording but um, we got I got through it and um, so I look forward to hearing from you let me know what you're creating next um, I'd love to hear it and I'd love to send you some uh, good vibes for your next creation and remember to go ahead and step into that energy of being the person that has it already. Alright, I am off. Have a magical, wonderful day.